we put hard, hard, fire and fire, but later on the I think the commander of the Japanese forces changed his mind. So they, they stopped firing. They moved to another place. But uh, after the, uh, the battle of, of that area, you can see the cadavers scattered. Japanese, Filipino, yeah, so many died there in the battle. You know, I went there, I visited there again. Believe me, there, nobody lived there. They don't go back to build their house because what I heard that it is hunted, something. <laughs> You remember uh, that uh, town in in uh, Germany? Uh, they put a card. The name is Birdon. Birdon. Oh, I hear in the magazine that there is always, you know, those soul coming back. What do you call that? Those dead, they can't see. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I went there. I asked the native why, why they don't build houses there? No, <laughs> they were scared. So after a battle, oh, well, so I, you know, the Japanese. In that area, when uh, there is sniper, climb to the trees where the leaves are very thick, and they want to kill officer with chevron. You know, they kill them first. Uh, when the, our officers know that they, they removed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they removed their insignia. Captain, first lieutenant, same. But the uh, commission of the is very wide, you know. It could be silly. <laughs> Sin. So they removed After that, uh, we. we move on the other place, waiting for order. But the battle continues. When we were there, we were called again to liberate those, our friendly troops because they were fighting that they couldn't wipe out the Japanese. I think it's ab about uh, over one company. They were, they have their place already. To stay so that they cannot hit by the friendly troop of ours who is fighting there. So our next order to let them out, we are going to relieve them. And they were happy. <laughs> we told them, okay Joe, take care. We'll take care of them. Believe me, I don't know. I don't like to remember. that brain is coming out. They hit by 
you, you know, I like to buy with it. Browning automatic. I can just put there and fire. Not like this missing gun. Water, because you can put water because it gets too hot. And also this air cold. It gets too hot. So I like that. Above all, I, I like that kind of weapon, that browning automatic. It has only tripod. You can put it in mount fire. In that place, we went there. We poured and poured, but it takes about three days. About three days before we wiped them out. The, our casualty there is our captain, Edwin Williams, from Brown. Brown, Edwin Brown, our captain, company commander, he was here. But uh, when enlisted men, Corporal Barangos was hit. He was hit, not by the enemy. Well, this is what happened. Not by the enemy. There is a rubber there. The Japanese was there, but our first base in a in a baseball, Rajim Parkon threw that hand grenade. He control far, so the hand grenade dropped in there where they were hiding. The Japanese. <laughs> now, <laughs> they, uh, this is really true. Sergeant Arugai is very interested in, in, in uh, you know, Shobiner. And uh, the same as Corporal Bayangos. <laughs> the, <laughs> the finger of the Japanese is still on that small pistol. Uh, he's already dead. The other one, one is souvenir, and the other Thanks, Ramon. We're just uh, going uh, to switch it's on okay. the extra light here. Yeah. Excuse me for interrupting your story. Okay. Don't worry. But I just want to get everything perfect here, so. Yeah. We're going to add one more light here, and excuse us again. But uh, your story, I could tell, this is just almost too much. Um, oh, here. you didn't hear me down? Uh, this is just so serious here, but also so interesting. Just people really need to hear the true story of uh, what you guys went through. So that's too bright, honey, right? Or just, I need to improve uh, it a little bit. Can, well, your light is in the bottom. The main thing is, yeah, okay. Um, one more time. Now a little bit less? Or? Yeah, a little less. Okay. So we, anyway. Well, that's, that's pretty good, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ramon. And uh, so if you want to set that maybe on the bed or the table or something, or maybe I should step, maybe I should just step over here real quick while we've uh, already messed it up a little bit. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. And by the way, we're going to type all this up as transcripts for you. So oh, we'll, we'll, we'll have it all typed up and uh, can translate it into different languages and all. So, uh, so the main thing is just look straight at Denise then when you're talking. And uh, yeah, so just get all lined up with the camera. So just look straight into the camera when you talk and keep telling your story. You're doing a great job, Ramon. And maybe you could just do this thing and just hit the button every once in a while or just okay. sit on your lap or don't even worry. But the main thing is it really gives good color so we can match it up later. So I'm gonna move over here. But again, Ramon, just look straight um, or maybe I'll move back, right? Okay. So just look straight at Denise, and uh, yeah, keep keep going with the story here. I interrupted you at the best part here. You, you can sit down. You know, you guys just did not have the equipment. 
Uh, I'm happy right here so I can see you. Yeah. You guys just did not have the equipment. Yeah. They're like, you needed a better machine gun, didn't you? But uh, go ahead and keep talking. Uh, you're, you know. you're right, Joe. Uh, thank you, Ramon. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, in there, they were corporal, corporal by Angus and Sergeant Arungay. They went there in the army. The Japanese, his finger, he's already dead, but the pistol is still holding, and the finger is in the trigger. The, the other one is pulling, his, he wants his souvenir, Sergeant Arugai. The same as Sergeant Bayang, uh, Corporal Bayangos. They were there in the rubber. They, they were the first one who went there. So when Sergeant Arugai pulled that, the bullets come out to hit hit uh, Corporal Bayangos in the heart. They killed him? Oh. Wow. So he got uh, shot by a dead man. Yeah. I know that because when I arrived here, the, the, the nephew of my wife, they were there, or here, they were born here in San Francisco. He, is, he said, when I came, he said, oh, the Battle of Batan. I said, he heard that casualty is there. So it was announced in the, the radio during that battle. Mm. Believe me, when we were wiped out, no, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I could see the cadaver in the Japanese cadaver. The brain and the intestine is scattered. We slain them and we captured all the weapon, plug, saber, machine uh, gun, rifle, and Ration, they have, they have a key ration, bagong. You know, this bagong, it's, it is a dried salt fish. <laughs> dried salt fish. Yeah. So, Captain uh, Edward Williams, he had all those weapons, flags, put in a big uh, box. Put the most souvenir. What souvenir? The, the Japanese. <laughs> Subdued us. So we, we bring that, and uh, the order was we went to signal El Mirabilis under the big trees. Again, our as my assignment there is to train the Philippine Army how to fire machine gun, how to fire. M1 report. I like that M1 because that they, they can, the range is, is longer than the Springfield. But I like Springfield because the pep side, the, it has the front side. The, you can, you can aim, focus. Aim to the target, whereas missing gun, the front sight is open like that. Uh, I mean to say, the M1. Uh, 